Right, people, so this is a Prentice. Number 90, Bulldog. A little bit of rust here and there, but it's currently in the morning. So, I've been a bit busy today, went to the dentist and stuff. So I'm going to strip this down very quickly now and chuck it in that, uh, that deoxy. Alright, I ain't even going to video it. Right then, as you can see, that is all rust has all gone now from this. That was just sitting overnight in the deoxy. Let's get this over to the wire wheel and get all this paint off now, shall we? Here it is, all nice and shiny from the wire wheel. I tell you what else is shiny. These. Because they started to go rusty, so I had to re-clean them. And these ones. They're now sitting in deoxy. I'll give them a clean later. Do you remember this? This was all nice and shiny when I finished it. Well, now it looks like this. So you can only imagine what those others look like. So, that's had the process too, and there it is on the bench, waiting to be waxed and reassembled. Don't forget, I always find it best to use this blue masking tape. Gives you much more defined and clear lines, and you don't get any bleed under. How you doing, Jim? Not telling you. You're painting it. You're not fucking painting it yellow again, are you? Are you? Yeah. Can I tell you a story? While I'm doing this. Should I tell you a story? I mean, John tells loads of stories, doesn't he? He's got um, loads of viewers. They all like stories. Uh, got to put something down there, haven't I? Now, the other night, there I was, watching the telly, and out the corner of me eye I see something move. And I look through the window into the conservatory, and there's a fucking ghost of a chicken flying around, knocking stuff off shelves. And I called the wife, I said, quick, 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 we've got a poultry geist. Right, enough of the spooks. I'm actually uh, super blueing this to give the metal an antique look. Right, I'm going to take the super blue off again. It will darken the metal because it's come out too shiny from the wire wheel. So we're coating this, aren't we? Yeah, you're doing good there, Jim. You're coating that. Oh, that's lovely. That's very well protected. No, it's not. It's super blue. You want to protect it after you put soup, but you need to oil it or wax it. All right. Don't take my word for it. I'll scout grafter. He's a very knowledgeable man, is John. All right, so. Um, uh, it's coming out grey, you blew that has, but never mind. It's done the job, done the job. Right, so I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and check the background of the car. Come back and we'll move on to the next stage of this. So to prove a point about Super Blue, I left this for 40 minutes and look what happens. But underneath the new very light coating of rust, it has darkened the metal just as I wanted. So, let's take this rust off, then it'll be time to get some wax on. So, I use a mixture that comes in the tin from a company called Bee Naturals. It's beeswax and olive oil. Never use beeswax and linseed oil, because it turns into a yucky mess after a few months. 
Right, so I'm going to totally cover this entire vice now in this wax and olive oil mixture as I'm going to do with the pipe wrenches when I clean them and that will protect these for a couple of years. Alright, let's get it back together and uh, Bob's your dad's sister's brother. Absolutely lovely. So, Scout Crafter's favourite part. Do you remember how it started? Oh, I love the way the Super Blue has added the dark patches to this. That's what it was supposed to do in my vision. Right, thank you all for watching. Click down there for the link for another one. Or, uh, or don't. Right, bye for now.